Howie Horse Haven Rescue is located in Howie in the Hills, Florida. At Howie Horse Haven, we truly believe that second chances do come true. Horses have been around for centuries. They have plowed our fields. They have entertained us in sports. They are our hobbies. And sometimes they are just a little girl's best friend. Sadly, in today's society, we have become known as the throwaway society. When horses become expensive, have worn out their welcome, our lives change, we often look at them as disposable. We toss them out and leave them to starve, fend for themselves, or we maybe send them to an auction, not really caring about what their future may hold. Taking care of a horse is costly. When an individual becomes a horse owner, they are so excited over that fact that they now have a horse, they don't often stop to think about what it may cost to properly care for that animal. They may have boarding fees. You have vet bills, farrier, dental bills. You have the cost of vaccines and feed and hay and that oh so scary emergency fee that can come up at any given time. Of the more than two million Americans who are horse owners, one third have a household income of less than $50,000 a year. When times get tough, it is often the animals that are the least taken care of. As a result, over 100,000 horse abuse cases are reported each year. So many more go unreported. 100,000 horses are sent to Mexico and Canada for slaughter, and the USDA reports that 92% were in good condition and could have lived productive lives. It is estimated that over 100,000 horses in the United States this year will be sent overseas strictly for the lucrative export of horse meat. Florida Cruelty the Animal Statute needs to be addressed. Often a person is not fined at all, even though it says they can face up to a $5,000 fine or imprisonment. Very often it's a slap on the wrist. It's so difficult to get a horse removed if it's not a surrender. In the meantime, the horse continues to starve or be riddled by disease. It is important to start looking at strengthening our laws in Florida and educating individuals on the importance of reporting animal abuse. This is where we come in. Howie Horse Haven Rescue is a nonprofit organization. We are dedicated to the rehabilitation of abused, neglected, and unwanted horses. Our mission is to provide them with a safe environment. We make sure they are surrounded with dedicated volunteers who are passionate, caring, loving, and committed to provide the horses with the needs so they can go on and live a productive, happy, healthy, loving life. We are pleased to announce that Howie Rescue is a 501c3. We are also a top rated nonprofit. We are a 2015 approved shelter by Adopt a Pet. And this has just been in our last two and a half years of operation. We've talked about the expense to the horse owner. Now I want to educate you just a little bit on the expense to a rescue. When one of our rescues first comes in, 
we immediately called the veterinarian out for an assessment. Depending on the horse's body score, if it has an injury, uh, if the Coggins needs to be pulled, whatever is needed, we make sure that the horse is attended to within its first 24 to 48 hours upon arrival. The initial veterinarian visit can cost us anywhere from $100 to $500, depending on the condition of the horse. Every horse that comes in has dental problems. So that's our next step once the veterinarian has been out. Dental care, depending on how many teeth extractions, the size, age of the horse, can range anywhere from $90 to $140 per horse. The average horse needs its hoofs trimmed about every six weeks. When they are not trimmed, just as our to toenails and fingernails grow, so do theirs, which impedes their ability to walk properly. So our next step after the veterinarian and the dentist is to get the farrier out to start correcting their feet and getting their hooves back in shape. The farrier usually averages between $30 to $35 per horse. And once again, this is every six weeks. Here's an example of a horse that was brought in to us that didn't have a farrier as you can see for an extremely long time. We'd like to introduce you to our rescues. The first one you're going to meet is Smarty. Smarty, as you can see, was extremely emaciated when he came in. He was a stallion. He had been used for nothing but stud. We gelded him, we got him back up on weight, started working with him, and this is what Smarty looks like today. It's hard to believe he's the same horse. Bandit is a situation similar to Smarty. He came to us from animal control. They needed somebody to take him in to rehabilitate him. We couldn't turn him down, and this is banded today. This is Hope. She was an owner surrender. When she came in, she was so weak, she could barely stand more than five minutes at a time. We honestly did not think she would make it through the first week to 10 days. It took a lot of love and a lot of care but today, she is running around the pasture, fat, happy, sassy, and ready for her new home. Hope is currently available for adoption. Dolly came to us because the owner was just tired of her. She was pregnant, he had no use for her, and he would have been just as happy, to put it in his words, to put a bullet in her head. Dolly gave birth to a beautiful little baby girl named Haven, who now has been adopted out and has a loving home. Dolly, however, will live with us forever. She is part of our sanctuary. Ginger was found wandering down 561 in Lake County. Animal control could not locate her owners and nobody came forward to claim her. She was turned over to Halley Horse Haven Rescue because she was suffering with bad bouts of colic. After many sleepless nights, we finally got her through her colic. And today, Ginger has a very happy and loving home. Sometimes when horses come into us, they are not necessarily starved or injured but sometimes with behavioral problems. That is the case with Leone. She was a little bit on the dangerous side. She would strike out. She was very difficult to touch. We spent a lot of time working with her. Leone is doing great, and she now has a forever home. 
Walk Tasha, skinny, scared, happy, and fat. He is also one of our sanctuary ponies. Bo was very depressed, skinny, didn't like to be touched by anyone. As Bo made his recovery, we found out that he was quite the clown. He is now our PR manager. He goes with us to any event and loves to show off and meet and greet everybody. He is also part of our sanctuary and never will be put up for adoption. Silver was a recent rescue for us. We were called because she had a head injury. A branch had gone through her forehead. We went, picked her up, immediately had the vet come out. And today she's ready to head out to our new home. She has already been adopted and we know she'll have a loving forever home. Billy came to us from the animal control. He's about 22 years old, blind, and extremely emaciated. The animal control asked us to step in and help out. We knew that it was going to be difficult to save Billy. His system had already started shutting down. It was difficult for Billy to stand any longer. After about a week, Billy lay down and never got up again. We show you Billy to remind you the importance of reporting any abuse you see. If Billy had come to us earlier, if somebody had reported them or if the owner had surrendered, Billy would still be with us today. Billy still trusted people. He still wanted to believe that there was good in the world. And Billy is a reminder why we have to fight so hard for these animals. Snickers was one of our rescues. Skinny, dull looking. Today, very well loved by one of our volunteers. What can you do? If you see it, report it. Not reporting it adds to the problem. We have to give them a fighting chance. You have to call and you have to call again until you see those horses are taken care of. Call your animal control and your local rescues. Do what you can. If you can't adopt, foster. If you can't foster, sponsor. If you can't sponsor, donate. If you can't donate, volunteer. And if you can't volunteer, network. Each of us can do something to help. What we can't do is sit back and do nothing. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Howie Horse Haven. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Please find us on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you.